Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, June 28, 2018. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Right now, we have the futures down, the S&P E-mini futures down by 8 points, trading at 26.97 per contract. All in all, the futures have been weaker, really beginning around 6.30 in the morning, so they've been floating lower. But we are coming into some pretty decent short-term support levels on the S&P, so we'll see if this market can hold up around this level or maybe just a touch lower from where we are. Yesterday, we had a big reversal day in the major indexes, a uh, big reversal in the Dow, big reversal in just about everything out here, and especially the NASDAQ. So again, we'll see how today plays out, but it's been a, a very, very volatile market, and that's what we like to see. That makes uh, for good trading action, so get ready. We should have some excellent action out here this morning. A couple things I want to go over. Let's take a look at the market-leading stocks. We're going to start the day off on Amazon. A-M-Z-N. Looks like they are... Uh, they have bought Pill Pack, which is a company that uh, puts your pills in order for you. Uh, again, Walmart was supposed to buy this company. It looks like Amazon snuck in there and did it. So Amazon right now trading at sixteen sixty-five. Stocks up about five dollars from the close yesterday. Um, on the news, though, we are seeing Walgreens and CVS get hit. Now, Walgreens had earnings this morning. Ticker symbol for Walgreens is WBA, Walgreens Boots. And you're going to see the stock is getting hit pretty sharply. Right now, trading at $61 a share. So, again, Walgreens declining decently here. Um, again, I'm going to work on some levels for Walgreens. We'll see if we can find it. But that stock is getting hit on that news that Amazon is now getting into the pharmaceutical space. Let's take a look at CVS. That is also declining this morning. CVS right now trading down sharply to around $64.38. This closed at $70.05 yesterday. So again, I think this probably has a little bit lower to go. I would probably watch the $64 level here, maybe even a pierce of that for short-term support. But I'm going to try to work out levels before the opening bell today in both of these equities. So either way, Amazon is starting to invade the pharmaceutical space. Walgreens and CVS are falling. Let's take a look at... Uh, Good old Walmart. Walmart could also uh, be on the mend here. And what you'll see, Walmart is gapping down as well, down trading around $86. It closed at $86.89. All right, let's get into some other stocks here. Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, reported earnings last night. Stock is trading at $19.07, closed at $20.18. Briefly got below $18.5, now settling in around this $19 area. I really don't see anything great for Bed Bath & Beyond. So I wish I could say, hey, we're going to pick this up. We're not. We're just going to leave it alone for now. We'll see how it looks once the opening bell rings. But there's nothing. I have no interest in this name looking at this chart. Let's take a look at MSG, which is Madison Square Garden. Uh, what you're going to see here, stock is getting a big pop today. Closed at 266.23. Now trading at 296.38. This is on the back of some news um, that they will be looking to spin off some sports companies that they have. So, again, big pop there from Madison Square Garden Company, and we'll see how that plays out. If you own it, trail the stop loss immediately. If you don't own it, I would not be a buyer up here at this level. Pier 1 is in the news. PIR is the ticker symbol there. Stock uh, reported earnings. It closed at $3 yesterday, now trading at $2.55. This is another retailer that's basically in the toilet i wouldn't touch it right here zillow group ticker symbol z uh, in the news today stock is trading at 5770 it looks like uh, they are creating uh, or at least doing a convertible uh, note shelf offering right now when i look at the stock it's trading at 5770 uh, unless this gets down to around 5360 um, i have no interest but again 5360 could be a play there so keep it on the radar today Let's take a look at chipotle mexican grill i think they had an investor day stock is trading down a little bit it's been really really up on the chart so so no real major harm but it's down about three percent right now so again chipotle grill closing at 457 now trading at 433 that stock is getting hit a little bit there's big support for this name right around 400 dollars so again if it gets there there could be a play around 401 402 in Chipotle Grill. Let's take a look at uh, ACN, which is Accenture. 
Uh, stock right now is trading at $100.61. This closed at $155. I think this is on the back of earnings. I have to check that again. Um, nice little pop, though. If you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, just leave it alone here. But that is a good little pop. Let's take a look at MKC. I believe this is on the back of earnings. Stock also trading at 109, closed at 105.93. McCormick Spice is moving higher. Um, again, this might have a little bit more upside to go, but trail the stop if you own it. If you don't own it, wait for an intraday pattern. Don't jump on board just here uh, at the moment. Let's take a look at Progress Software, PRGS. This is also getting a little bit of a pop. Closed at $34.80, now trading at $30. Six dollars a share briefly got above 37 yesterday after the closing bell. So nice little pop there um, This this stock right here is a little bit on the thinner side meaning it doesn't trade a million shares Has huge resistance around 39 and a half to 40 bucks So again if you own it trail the stop loss if you don't own it, we're gonna kind of skip it for now We'll take a look at it once the opening bell rings. So there we have it with stocks for now again futures down eight and a half points Let's move over to the gold market Gold is trading down at $1.40. Gold is very oversold here at these levels. We'll see if it is due for a bounce today. Um, gold right now on the GLD trading at $118.69. Again, spot gold at the moment trading at $1,254.70 an ounce. Crude oil today ticking down a little bit, trading at trading lower by $0.34 cents to $72.42 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good oil ETF, you'll see that's trading at $14.68, basically right where it closed yesterday. So again, uh, we're not going to make too much out of gold and oil yet, but we'll see how it plays out today. Uh, all in all, this should be a very good morning, good trading day. We got a nice little gap down here, so it should make for uh, some opportunities as a day trader. And if you haven't done so yet, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. 2018 has been nothing short of stellar. So, again, if you want to come trade alongside of us, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You could trade right alongside of us there. We've had a great year and we're looking to keep it going all the way into uh, 2019. With that being said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here short and sweet. I want to wish you all a wonderful trading day, and we will see you on the chart.